Hello and welcome back. Almost finished the episode two. Yeah, sorry about the last video. Like it was shorter because you know actually we set my start watch, so I had to start everything over. Like right, let's continue where we left off. How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love. It's not what you think, please. You're cheating on me with him. No, no, Beast. I promise I'm wow, not. Wow, he's so jealous. Helping him. That's all. I'll back. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. Relax, Beast. It's not what you think. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm wow, here. he's very jealous. Master. I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! You've been sleeping with her this whole time! Listen to your wife. Just calm down. Beast! Ah! I wasn't paying attention! Dang it! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, baby. Oh, that's messed up. That's jealousy. Look at all the blood. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this is this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then it must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? <laughs> Beauty. What? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... so that's... Yeah. Is anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage, or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Looks like she was lying down when she was... Killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood matter. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Okay, look at the book. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. 
Or about the Monday version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. What's it mean? Why mark the page where she's sleeping? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. Of course he's obsessed with death. He's a psycho killer. It goes right along with cutting off people's heads. Alright, next. It's a Hufflepuff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Okay, find some classic tick. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. What? What are you thinking? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. So this psychopath made that poor girl dress up like Snow White, then cut her head off. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just... How does a person... Sounds like there was a series of choices involved. I'm sure she'd have done things differently if she knew where things were headed. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Is there anything else you can tell me about last night? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Sorry, no, it just seemed like every other night does. That's exactly what's bothering me. From now on, I'll just be down there imagining this. Maybe okay. she didn't see it coming. Now yeah, to continue investigating. Play some cracks of player. Big beat this. I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. Damn, get it together, beauty. Be strong. How can I find out who rented this room? Find whoever has the key? I'm pretty sure this one must be held long term. And we don't keep a register or anything. This place is intentionally kind of anonymous. I keep hearing that. I'd better not find out you're hiding something from me about all this. What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not involved in this! Please, just do whatever you need to do, and let's get out of here. <sighs> okay, what am I supposed to do now?
God. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm lost here. Oh, here it is. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. Who's eating an apple? Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It's got a single bite taken out of it, like in Snow's story. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. He's just acting out another part of the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I'm actually gonna stop by here because we're well we're almost the end of the episode but yeah so I'm almost like out of time right now I will go to the next part